welcome to our next video. This time we are in Kentucky at Cumberland Falls State Park. The weather is garbage, which is pretty much how I feel because I am being forced back to work, which means we had to pivot on the rest of our journey, and now we are here. This was on my list, but not for now. So they have what is called a moon boat here which this is the only place in the Western Hemisphere where this natural phenomenon occurs. We are not here at the right time. We are about 10 days early, but maybe someday we'll see it. Here's a picture. It's basically a rainbow at night. Hey for me! Uh. Wow. Even though the weather is garbage, it's still super cool. A waterfall. Yeah. I've never seen one of those before. So when it's in season here, you can actually take a whitewater rafting trip and go up near the falls where you can feel the mist, just like if it was the real Niagara Falls and you are riding the fate of the mist. So the weather today is an absolute disaster. One second. Okay. okay. Well, the weather today is an absolute disaster. Tomorrow is worse because there's thunderstorms. I like in the rain, but I don't like the hike of thunderstorms. And unfortunately, we're only here a couple days. So when there's some place you need to be and you only have rainy days, you just go do it. And unfortunately, this is what you get. But the waterfall is pretty cool and probably worth it. Cumberland Falls is reputed to be the largest waterfall east of the Mississippi River and south of Niagara Falls. It's 125 feet across, making it one of the widest waterfalls in the country. At normal river levels, it's 68 feet high. Are you wet? Yeah. It appears as though my coat is not as waterproof as it once was. <laughs> How did you get water all the way in there? So. There might be a trip in store for a new coat and a new pair of boots. Uh, yay! <laughs> All right, let's get out of here. It's cold and wet. One day of water falling with Nicole. Are you even wearing a coat? <laughs> There's this hole in my gear. <laughs> Sorry. You got angel wings on the back, but you never thought you were an angel. A lot of people will probably disagree. Oh my God. So there are other trails that we can do here. A couple other waterfalls, which were on my list to do, but because of the weather and there were comments how if it's very wet out, you're walking on a narrow trail on the side of a cliff, that it's very dangerous. We're going to pass on that and we're just going to do it another time. So we're making plans to come back here probably when they're in season. We can do the whitewater rafting. We can actually hike the trails and visit it how it was meant to be visited. Something else you can do here is pan for gold. Now this is something during the in season that you can do, but it's very cute. So it says that they have bus and RV parking. And this is the bus and RV parking section. But they're not actual spots. Like there's a grass island in the middle. So you would have to like park through several spots to do it. So while we're here, we're going to check out this campground. And I will say, if you're coming in from this way, it's a bit of a tight turn. You could probably do it, but... You can also go up and turn around, though. Yep. If you're in the false parking. Yep. So come in from the correct way. So it is very curvy.
Okay, so we are arriving in the campground. See a tent on the left and a little RV on the right. There's laundry, bathrooms. It's like a grocery store. These are pull through sites, but they're on a very steep incline. And very small. Is this a dump station? You are basically on a ridge here. Like, there's a cliff right behind these sites. Not very RV friendly at all. These guys got a couple trailers in here. Little ones. This is site number 22 with the pop up, and site 21 with the airstream. Single axle airstream, though it's a small one. Wow. It's not very RV friendly, really. Definitely not big rig friendly. I'm glad that I didn't book here because there was one site, I can't remember which one it was, I had put in 28 foot, and it said 28 foot, but looking at these, I would not have been comfortable trying to back the trailer in at all. I have no idea how this guy got in. I think that is site 11. And this one on the end is nine. That would be the one you would want. Number nine. The bigger. Yeah. The other thing I like to look for when I'm looking for sites is Verizon cell service. So I couldn't find that either for this campground. Um, if anybody cares, I got like up to 27 download speeds, so it was really good. Well, when life gives you lemons, you get KFC! We are going to the very original KFC. I'm super excited. It's a museum, apparently. I'm very excited. <laughs> The destination is on your left. KFC. Oh, okay. Arrived. Here we are. Pulling in. <gasps> are they closed? Dining room and museum opening soon. Oh, gosh darn it. We just got our finger looking good chicken. So since the museum is closed, I had to do my own research. This is by far the most in-depth that I've ever learned about KFC. I was so excited. But from 1940 to 1956, the restaurant actually operated in this building. It used to actually be part restaurant, part motel. He would encourage, Colonel Sanders that is, would encourage people to come and stay here and then eat at his restaurant because it's on a busy highway here. I also learned that the governor of Kentucky actually dubbed him a colonel for all his culinary efforts into the chicken industry in Kentucky. We are staying at a Boondockers Welcome. The property is actually owned by this church right here and they own this entire field and let us park here. So it's pretty cool. It's a little loud because we are right next to a road, but we've been able to run our generator no problem. It's just been rainy. We're done with our time in Kentucky. Making a drive home to Michigan. Not as crazy as the drive from Arkansas. This one's only 525 miles. And after that, we don't really know what we're gonna do. We still have a lot of states we need to fill in, a lot of places to go. 
Just not sure when we're going to get there yet. Thanks for watching, everybody. Look forward to our next video.